are sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to install the uh, SDR trunk software on a Linux machine. Uh, now, I'm going to be using Linux Mint in this video, uh, and I have it running on the uh, Atomic Pie. So, and that supports a 64-bit uh, software, so I have the 64-bit version of Linux Mint. So I'll throw a link in the description for the information, but we're going to come to the following here. And we're going to download the latest version here, which is at the time. Let me get back here once. Download. Which is this guy right here. So we're going to click on it. Scroll down. We're going to get the 3264-bit uh, version. We're going to right-click and copy. Because we're just going to do a wget. Because we're going to go do this through terminal. So we'll just type in wget. Right-click. And download this file. Now you can put this wherever you feel like. Uh, but I just put it on the main directory for the purpose of this video. So now if we do an ls, we can see here it's a zip file. So we need to unzip it. So we'll just do unzip. <clears throat> All right. So now that that's unzipped, if we do another ls, now we got a directory for the SDR. So I'm going to move over to my VNC connection here for... Uh, <clears throat> for this so now I'm logged into the atomic pie here and like I said if we do an LS you can see it so we'll just go ahead and CD into that directory now if we do an LS again we need to CD into the bin file so we'll go ahead and do that and if we do another LS, we need to run the SDR trunk. So, all we need to do to do that is period forward slash SDR dash trunk. Hit enter. <clears throat> then it'll bring up the GUI. And there we have it. Next thing we need to do is install another piece of software, the Java. So to do that, we're going to go View, User Preferences. Then we're going to click on the uh, JMBE Audio Library. Now this is new, so nothing's here. So we're going to create. We'll just say yes. Once that's up, we're going to do another create, and we're going to say yes. <clears throat> and now this is going to download everything that we need to get the uh, JMBE working. And once this is done, this uh, up here will change a little bit compared to what it used to be. All right, so there we go. It's done, <clears throat> and now we have the information there. So, that's the main thing. Now, if we go under the output, you can uh, play with your settings here. Now, obviously, yours is going to be different. Like I said, mine's on the Atomic uh, Pi here. So... <clears throat> So as you can see it, well, hear it, it did beep, there we go. It's coming through the uh, HDMI port. So, I did a video on how to do it on Windows 10. Here's the video on how to do it with Linux Mint. Uh, 
I'm going to be doing a part two on how to more set this up and get it working. But while we're here, if we go to tuners, Yeah, that's plugged in. Right now, it's not showing our uh, our uh, dongle here, which we might have to install. Let this install, and we'll be back. All right, so I went ahead and re I installed the uh, RTL SDR software, rebooted the uh, Atomic Pi, and uh, relaunched it. Now you can see here it's definitely lagging on here. Now I'm going through VNC, so that don't help either. But so let's relaunch it again. And if we go under our tuner tab, we'll be able to see our RTL here. And right there it is. So, <clears throat> so that obviously got it up and working. So, uh. Like I said, I'm going to do a part two on how to set up P25. We'll uh, log in the radio reference if we have an account. And if you're a premium member or a feeder, uh, setting this up is really, really simple. It's not too hard. But we can back down the sample right here, which definitely might help the atomic pie out a little and here's our ppm correction you could have this check to do automatic or you could turn it off and uh, tune it yourself so anyway I'll throw a link in the description on how to install this on a Linux Mint uh, operating system so thanks for watching stay tuned for another one Yeah. <laughs>